Now we're going to take a look at how we can set up our S3 buckets so that we have replicas of them in different regions. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in our management console is we're going to go find S3. It's in my recently visited services, but if we open up all services and go to storage, we should find it there. So I'm just going to look for it right now. And we have it right here. S3. Yep. And once that opens up, we have to now make two buckets. So I'm going to create a bucket right now. I'm going to say that this is my Singapore bucket scale curb. And I'm going to put this in Singapore. So I'm going to allow all public access. I acknowledge that I want to do that. I'm going to allow bucket versioning so that if I put the same file in, it updates the version. And that's about everything I want to do right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this bucket. There we go. That's that. So if you go inside, we can upload files now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move over and we have this file on our desktop. That's my notes. So we're just going to open that one up. And we can see here that these are my notes. These are very personal and like super personal. And this is version three of my notes. Okay, fine. Fair enough. So we have this version three of my notes that we want to upload. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to upload this into my bucket. So I'm going to add the files from here my notes and just upload it like that and just go ahead and upload it. There we go. So now let's go ahead and open up our notes again. So if we say that we want to make some changes here, say that these things change fast and I mean really fast. So now I've made an update to these notes and I say that, okay, instead of version three, now these notes are version four. So I can just save it and I can exit. So now when I close this and I go to upload another file and I'm uploading the same file now under a different version, I can upload that file and it will successfully replace the file that I had before from the same name and the same file type. So now if we go back here, we can see that this says only one file, but if we go to show versions, it'll show us the first version of the file we uploaded. And as you can see, there's a difference in the bytes. Of course, because there's more information in our new notes than there was in our old notes. So that's that. So now we have a bucket that we can say is in Singapore that has my notes inside it. So now let's go ahead and set up a replica for this bucket. So let's go back to Amazon S3 and create a new bucket. So let's say that this is my replica in California. It's called curb. And I can just put this in California. There we go, North California. And I don't want to block any public access to it. I acknowledge it. And I will enable bucket versioning. And I will just move on. And now that you've created this bucket, of course, it's completely empty. We can go inside and see. Yeah, nothing inside this bucket. So now we're going to go and create a replication rule within our Singapore bucket so that we can save our information from within that bucket into this bucket. So if we go into the bucket, we go over to management, we're going to see replication rules right here. So now we can create a new replication rule. First, we have to give it a rule ID. So we can just call this replication uh, rule for California. Why not? Skill curve. So we have this replication rule name. So now when we go down, it's going to ask us for a source bucket, which we know since we were making it from our Singapore bucket, our source bucket is the Singapore bucket. And then it asks you to choose a rule scope. Now, this is simply a means of filtering out certain objects from going into your replica, or do you want all the objects to just be replicated? And in our case, we just want all the objects to go through. So we're going to apply to all objects in the bucket. And then the destination bucket. Now, this is the one you have to be careful about. Now, of course, you can choose a bucket from your own S3 buckets. You can also specify a bucket from a different account. So, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to use that other bucket we made for the replica in California. So we say my replica in California skill curve, and we can just do that. And once that's done, yep, 
It's going to tell you your destination region, which is US West Northern California. After that, you're going to see the options for encryption and whether or not you want to change the destination storage class. So if you do want to do that, you'll see all the storage classes we talked about previously being offered to you here. And because this is just a demo, I don't really want to change anything here. We're just going to work with our standard. So I'm not going to change the storage class for the replicated objects here. Below this, you're going to see additional replication options. The first one you're going to see is replication time control. And this is just as the description says, I can read it out to you. Replication time control replicates 99.99% of new objects within 15 minutes and provides replication metrics and notifications. And of course, since this is an additional service, additional fees apply. And then you have other notifications, deleting the marker replications and replica modification sync. But because we don't need any of these right now, I'm just going to go ahead and save this rule. But before I do that, when I go to save this rule, it's going to prompt me to insert all the objects I already have within this bucket to be put in the new bucket. So let's go ahead and see that. So when I save this, oh, I haven't given it an IAM, IAM role. So yeah, you have to choose from an existing IAM role and you can just create a role for this. So we can just say that we want to create a new role and it will create a new role for you to do that. And then you can go ahead and save. And now you can see the prompt that says, do you want to replicate the existing objects? And you can run a batch operation to do that. But since I do not want that to be the case, I'm not going to do it and we're just going to move forward. Great, so now that that's done, we can just close this. This is all prompting me to put, make the replication job if I want to put the objects I already have in my bucket to go into the new one. Since I don't want to go for that, I'm just going to close that and I'm going to go back to my S3. So now we have my Singapore bucket. We can see that the notes are there we go back to our California bucket, we're going to see that there's nothing inside this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to S3 to my Singapore bucket. And now I'm going to go back to my notes and make another change. These notes just keep piling on. And I can say that this is version five of my notes. And I can save that. So now that I've done that, I can upload my file, add the file from my desktop, my notes, and I can upload this file. Once that's done, you can just close this and you can go over to my notes. We can look at the versions. We can see this is the third version that we have uploaded to our bucket. But now let's go ahead and see what the California bucket has. So if we open up our replica in California, it's going to show you nothing here yet because it takes a minute to upload. But there's a quicker way to you show you the objects in here. So what if we just said show versions? And it's going to show you my notes. And if you close that, my notes just shows up again. And you can see exactly when it was last modified. So yeah, that's how you create a replica in a different region for your S3 buckets.